The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the funniest homosexual that we all know and love, Mr. J.P. Boom. No, man, where's my fairy dust? Oh, bro? that's right. I'm sorry. I forgot to give that to you. My bad. My thank, bad. Thank you. Derek was not here for the reiteration no, of that No, shit. that's my sound now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but also, he is the funniest person in Wichita, Kansas of 2021, Mr. Derek the Rec Alders. Yes. That's your sound. Yeah, that's that your is sound. fucking perfect. <laughs> Scotty, there's kids on the TV. Don't watch. It's going to be weird with you with a boner next to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think you're going to be worried about it. It's not that big, so you're not going to be able to tell. <clears throat> uh, but anyways, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me and that's fine. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend as many people as we possibly can. So if you don't like that shit, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Bye. Woo! We got a lot of lot of fun stuff to talk about today. Can you I believe that? We, I can't believe Can it. Can you believe that? Are we going to have fun thing? today? We're going to have fun. I thought we might. I missed that memo. Uh, you did? Yeah. I did that's not okay. get that memo. Yeah. We're going to have fun. I got B here at 6.30, and then there's nothing that's said about fun. That's tr- Well, that's because you're a pessimist, and that's okay. That's why we love you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we do have a great show to, for you guys today. we got some current events, overrated or underrated. No. I love a good pessimist. I know, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's nice. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, we also have a new segment. It's called Life Advice from Idiots. We give you a couple situations uh, where we can give we're you advice the on idiots. it. Yeah, we're, well, uh, I, that's, I think we're the idiots. I, I, think, I think the way you set this up, we're I, the idiots. I don't know, man. I think that that, that whole idea is kind of subjective. Uh, okay. Somebody may follow our advice and actually go with it. And well, then they're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, good enough. Uh, we also have questions and preguntas, as always, a draft, and uh, we wrap things up with our shitty situation of the week, but we have two guys that haven't been on the show. Well, JP's been on, uh, it's been about a week. Yeah, b- whole week, man. A whole week. So we're going to start out with JP with our week, 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 week recap. I can't say that shit, uh, but tell him what happened to you over the last week or so. You had the 4th of July, Doc. Yeah, man. Um, it was a lot of fun, too. Yeah? Yeah. Sat around? Smoked weed. Smoked weed. And bold. So, yeah, and bold. Uh, <laughs> and uh, let me think. Fourth of July, man. Fourth of July. You know what I did? What'd you do? I went out to a buddy's house, uh, his mom and dad's house out in El Dorado. We go out every year. Yeah. We got a big pool and yeah. shoot off fireworks and nerf all the family. And it's, sure. It was a good time, man. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Did Very. you light some fireworks? I didn't. You didn't. But I Chil- mean, they allowed the children? Kids, oh, yeah. children around you. That's good. Stuff. I went to the fireworks tent. Oh, did you? Bought like five hundred dollars worth of fireworks. Why so does everybody do succumb that? to that? Who cares? I know. I get it. It's fun for them, man. It, it is. They it's had fun. a blast. It's fun for the kids, but I mean, like every fucking year, it comes down to it. You're around a bunch of people. Kids are involved. Uh, lighting off fireworks. And That's the. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Had to clear thank that you. Up. Uh, yeah, you about got me arrested. <laughs> it's fine. But every single they time, just get in the van. So easy. <laughs> yeah, they anymore. You didn't even take candy. Yeah. You just ask, and they'll hop in. In. Yeah, ah. you're like, hey kid, I got like three squirtles back here. Yeah, yeah. Pikachu. Yeah, like, yeah. You just change the menu. It goes from I got ice cream to I got fireworks. You want to come in and jump in and light these fuckers off? Uh, but no, every single year, you, everybody says like, nope, this is the year. This is the year. I'm not going to buy fireworks. I'm not going to be that idiot. I'm going to let Jeff down the street go ahead and light off his thousands of dollars worth of fireworks. Well, the problem is they live. And there is nobody down the street. There <laughs> right. is no Jeff. There is no Jeff. There's no yeah. Jeff. Only Zool. <laughs> Only Zool. <laughs> oh, 
that's good shit. Yeah. Well, that's good. Um, Had some good times yeah, with kids. So that was fun. Yeah. And I uh, bought a new bowling ball. Good deal. I haven't got it yet. Wait, I was getting ready to say, this is, you just bought a new bowling ball. That that smells like something. Fruit punch. Fruit punch. That that is, and that's what that's you named it. That's been a few several months ago. Oh, has it really? Yeah. Oh, okay, I understand. They just came out with a new one. Um, it smells like bowling pins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It smells like butthole. Oh, that's your favorite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I can't wait to drill it. Yeah. <laughs> What if they made one like you have Bean Boozled and you're like, well, this could be Fruit Punch or it could be Dog Fart. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> like that. Harry Potter's Magic Beans <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. scented. Yeah. yeah, each one's different. Now, like, that's, man, I got one or the other. Uh-oh. I don't know which one I got. Yeah. Dude, that really sucked to get a bad one because that's fucking expensive ball. You, you got to use it. Yeah. And yeah. you do smell it. I mean, there's no doubt. When I pick up the other one, I mean, you smell it. Yeah. yeah there's, you let it get the oil, like all oily and shit like that, and then it just makes that that flavor just even more pungent. Ah, oh, God, oily butthole. That'd be your favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd yeah. probably buy a couple of those. <laughs> I'm sure you could. <laughs> probably have. <laughs> I'm sure you have. I got strawberry or staff infection. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me the strawberry, please. Come oh, on, strawberry. Wah, wah, wah. Staph <laughs> I got infection. Yeah. I've got orange jello or gangrene. <laughs> god uh but anyways uh, anyways uh, i'm uh, trying to think did, i'm uh, like food did you have any good food over your uh your little vacay that you had i mean sure man i'm sure we barbecued and stuff it was good that's that's obviously a tradition yeah. for fourth of july you got a sure. barbecue right but, i mean i didn't like go anywhere and like have any kind of fantastic food okay all right well fair enough god you're, you're always trying to egg me on like, i am. did you do this did you do the motherfucker you know what i did i'm trying this is no secret i'm trying to you thought things might change Maybe. like i was yeah. gonna turn over a new leaf like oh holy shit JP old gay has... guys hey old gay guys you can't teach them new tricks buddy <laughs> no uh, yeah you're right yeah yep just be around kids with a van yeah, yeah. That, that one right. week he's waiting on jp to be like well i checked myself into rehab yeah and going back to I'll school be, i'll be goddamned <laughs> if i haven't been screwing around with my whole life <laughs> i I can't believe it. I'm a whole new man. <laughs> Good oh, luck with that. Yeah. I, I start law school on the fourth. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Started yeah. dating a girl named Jennifer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Boy, that would really... Then you should take my temperature and no, call a doctor. No, it's okay. Turns You're, out I quit smoking weed and I love and eating And I love pussy. pussy. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's funny what you don't have to do for things <laughs> when you don't have any money. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, best thing about Jennifer, she's got dick and balls. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, I love so that. That's the best of both worlds for oh, you. Yeah. Menifer. Yeah. <laughs> Menifer. Good shit. Uh, all right. Well, mister, you have, uh, you've been gone uh, for several weeks. <laughs> so oh, you better crazy. have like an hour's worth uh, of shit to talk about. So well, wonderful. some of his kind of rolls into mine. And I'm really excited about it. So I'm you, glad that my misfortune makes you happy. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, it's so it's it makes me I so can't happy. wait till I get my review. I can't wait till I get my commission check. I bet not. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But no, uh, go ahead, Derek. Well, how's uh, how's your last couple of weeks been? Uh, I went and got to watch the Royals on Father's Day. That's pretty awesome. Um, did they win? They did not, but I got to wow. see. Wow, shocking! I'm I got to see Otani and Trout go back to back. That's pretty That's dope, cool. uh, which was dope. Yeah. And Trout was like four feet from me. Oh. I want to say this: I don't think there's a better person to represent Major League Baseball. I agree. He. So we were trying to get autographs uh, over by the dugout for the Angels because our seats were right behind the dugout. Mm-hmm. We were just a little farther down, so we went over to a different section a few feet down to try and get autographs, and then they shoot everybody out. Mm-hmm. And then, like, three minutes later, Trout comes out and starts signing for that whole area. What a fucking like, awesome dude. We're like, motherfucker. But he still went out and signed. And then he went to the other side of the dugout, a few feet the opposite way from us, and was signing down there. And then right before the game started, he was running back to the dugout, stopped and saw a kid with a camera, grabbed the kid, put his arm around him, took a picture with the kid, with the, like a selfie with the kid, right. and then ran on into the dugout. Like, there's just not a better human being for the sport. Yeah. I think, man, if, if more players were like him, I think – Fandom just even among kids and shit and families would yeah. fucking explode. I agree with you 100%. So what a great dude. Yeah. I um, think if they played shirtless 
if they Mike Trout whole, if dude. Mike Trout played shirtless, yes, you would be drooling all over right. the television. But then they could too. switch teams and stuff all the time. You'd never know. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Is that Mike Trout? He's supposed to be in the field. He, yeah. he shouldn't be at the plate. He's skins. He's not shirts today. <laughs> uh-huh. So I went and did that. That was Father's Day weekend. Uh, my buddy Brian went with me. Uh, and got a shirt printed because everybody knows for the most part now that my dad passed away in 2020. Mm-hmm. He got a shirt printed of me and my dad at a Royals game, and him and I both wore it. That's wore cool. That shirt, so we technically got to take my dad to the game. That's fucking cool. Which was pretty fucking awesome. Brian, really. Brian, Brian is, I mean, he's your best friend, but mm-hmm. God damn, that guy's a good dude. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's a, he's just good. People. Barring barring, he's Derek's best friend. That, he's a great thing. guy. Yeah, like, yeah. Right? Yeah. he probably feels that way too. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, can you imagine being around somebody just so pessimistic and somebody who just brings you down daily? You yeah, have man, to have I love Derek. the most positive and and yeah. like selfless attitude, and that's Brian. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, I'm his challenge. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna make that motherfucker come around and think positive one day, and I'm like, only if I got AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only if I got an AIDS test coming back, I'm like, it's positive. Yep. That's the only way I'm thinking positive. And he's dreading it for weeks. Never been fucked in the ass once, but dreading it for weeks. Nah, I've sat in close enough to you. That's I think true. I can catch it. I don't know. It's pretty uh, small. Uh, like I said before, small. No, I'm just saying what you probably do on my microphone. Oh, which that's is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, because your microphone reeks, bro. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was I'm always happy whenever you're gonna be here with me because I know I won't have to sit right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can be over here where the microphone smells good. Yeah. yeah. Like his wife's just gonna walk down the stairs. You're gonna be like <laughs> fucking one leg up on the chair and just jacking it <laughs> on my microphone. Like I'll get him this time. Yeah. Um so on my way to Kansas City that week, my car broke down. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just died. I apparently I screamed at my wife like it was her fault. <laughs> apparently, uh, it, it was not her fault. Uh, I just I don't do stress well. No. And uh, when it broke down on the highway, and I've got all these cars going seventy five miles an hour, and I'm going two, uh, and I'm praying to God I can get up this hill of an exit. Uh, but as I, I did make the exit, as I was turning into my parking spot, I lost power steering. So I had to flex these guns and, and I got it parked, thankfully, cause it I'm was... a fucking Hulk and, and, uh, I got that car parked and then, uh, thank God for nationwide who towed my car to the nearest dealership who promptly put a band aid on it. It falsely diagnosed it and it broke down again yesterday. (laughs) Fantastic. (laughs) With the same fucking problem. Right. So now it has been towed to Dickhead. (laughs) And (laughs) I'm Dickhead. Yeah. They know. Yeah, okay. They They know. know. Just clearing it up, man. No, they know. Just clearing it up. It has been towed to Dickhead. It has. And uh it I I await a repair. Now we can we can get access to his car you have no idea the two people that have looked at his car are listeners of the show and want to fuck with him oh please so let them bad. yeah we got Wonderful. i got some ideas yes uh, i got some ideas but i think they, that's why it stopped working in the first place <laughs> <laughs> we're like let's bang on his alternator with a screwdriver and just loosen some wires and no, because that's not uh, that is not my ideal phone call that happens at I want to say it was what nine o'clock on a Friday night, something what? like that when it broke down. Yeah, what day, when day? What day was that? It was on a. It was at like seven o'clock. Oh yeah, no, you, on a Friday. That's right. You called me while I was on the golf course, and I called you when I was on my way home. So you interrupted my beautiful golf game. No, I didn't. You didn't oh, answer. Boy. That's right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. My real friend Brian came and picked me up. <laughs> my real. <because laughs> Because he wasn't playing golf. And then we I went did. to the Royals game. I did call him back. I did call him back. Are you done with your week? I think so. I, I had a lot of baseball. I've got yes, a show at the Looney Bin this week. Yeah. Uh, the Looney Bin is now closing down. Here, here's how that fucking week went. <laughs> this is exactly what happened. Okay. Um, car breaks down. Not this time. The time before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> First time. Yeah. Car breaks down. Uh I find out that night as I'm on Facebook that a friend of mine died. Oh, no. So that happened. Who died? Uh, my friend Travis. He was like 39. Ugh. And I don't know what it was, but at 39, and he, I knew for at least as far as I understood, he was not terminally ill. Mm. And my last conversation with him was him calling me a shitty friend because I never answer the phone. <laughs> so 
Fuck. That's fucking great. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that's fantastic. Yeah. So that happened, and whatever the fuck I, I said had happened right before that, it was just a dog shit fucking week. That sucks, man. So uh, then I got to go back to baseball and did a whole lot of baseball. Yeah, you did. And wore myself out. And mm -hmm. then uh, we, oh, went to Oklahoma City this last weekend. Yeah, that's right. We went and watched Fully Loaded, uh, the comedy special, not JP's Last Date. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. God, it was, I know it's been so long, I don't even remember. I, yeah. Magic. I can now pride myself on the fact that I know <laughs> I am a better stand up comedian than Tiffany Haddish. She I sucks. heard, which is so disappointing. I'd really like her. Oh, God. But she really likes her, too. Um, <laughs> she is her biggest fan. Uh, um, she apparently came out rapping because she has an album that's dropping. Ew. So her first three minutes were her rapping. Uh, and oh, then I bet that was bad. It wasn't the best. <laughs> and then we learned about how much money she had. Ooh. Um, none of this was a setup to a joke or anything. We just knew that the After Party Season 2 had been renewed. She's starring in a sequel to Haunted Mansion. Um, she's got lots and lots of money. She's uh, producing an album that drops tomorrow. Uh, um, all sorts of shit. And then random sprinkling in about sucking a dick and braiding her pussy hair. And then back to having a whole bunch of money. Um, at the very end of her set, uh, one guy... Now, I'm sure it was because... I don't know if it was he was just booing her or what but it was silent enough in the paycom center you could hear one guy go boo <laughs> <laughs> and it was you no it wasn't oh, oh, it, should have been. it normally yeah, is i was gonna say sounds like you yeah she uh Man. was saying something about having like tiny about tiny dicks so i don't know if the guy was booing because of that or if he was just booing and she made it into that he really helped her with that one yeah um she even <laughs> like uh, the merch for fully loaded for that tour there wasn't any, like, because there was a ton of comics. It was Burt Kreischer, Chad Daniels, who's fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Mark, Norm Mark Normand was on it, who was great. Uh, Kelsey Cook was on it, who was really funny. Ralph Barbosa, Cephas Sounds. Uh, God, Rosebud Baker. I know I'm forgetting a couple. They were all pretty damn good. Santino wasn't there? Santino. Yeah. I was just asking. I don't know Andrew Santino. Oh, Big J Okerson was on there. That's another one yeah. I was going to ask. He was on there. He was okay. Yeah. Um, wasn't quite my thing, but he did well. Yeah. And and then there was her. And so all of these, like, they're selling all this merch, and it's all, like, fully loaded T-shirts, fully loaded visors, hats, stickers, condoms, rolling papers, all fully loaded. And then Tiffany Haddish had a shirt with her face on it and a hat with her logo on it. So mm. she was the only one that had her own shit. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it was not good. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it was quiet enough to where they booed her. Uh, and I told my wife before that started, I said, hey, just so you know, from what I heard a few years ago about her set, if you need to pee, that's now a good spot. Now's the time. Now's the yeah. time. Uh, that's going to be a good spot. And like six or seven minutes in, my wife looks at me and she goes, I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, I told you so. Yeah. So that's, um, that's what we need, dog. We need laughing on the sidelines condoms. They would fucking fail every time. Every time. But yeah, anyway, go ahead. So uh, the show itself was fantastic <laughs> outside of her. Thanks, JP. I don't use condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Raw is law. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Anyway. So yeah. That and, and they had a mascot for Burt Kreischer. Oh, they all, yeah, yeah. He was also there, obviously. Yeah, but they had the mascot for him, which was kind of funny. I'm assuming he did. He may, he was the last one to go up. And, yeah, and he probably he probably did went the longest. I'm guessing. Yeah, for the most part, I wish. On my opinion, Chad Daniels was the best out of all of them. That dude is yeah. amazing. <clears throat> that, He's he, so funny. His timing is impeccable. His story, I mean, his storytelling, yeah. everything. He's awesome. Mark Norman was great. I was so excited to I see like Mark him Norman. Too. They I, had I, some guy, I guess. Uh, he hopped in like their green room, which I guess was just a curtain, and uh, behind us, behind one of the sections or something, and some guy tried to hop into the green room. They snatched him, and I think he broke his leg. <laughs> oh shit! Fuck. Yeah, wow. So good stuff. But yeah, that was a very cool. That was very fun. Still to go down to OKC and, and watch that. And cool deal. Um, well, I guess to to go back to uh, Derek's unfortunate situation, uh, I was golfing. And having having a great time. I'll be damned. Uh huh. Surprise, surprise. And uh, I get a phone call 
Uh, and I, I was in the middle of playing. And so I didn't see that I got a phone call until I got into my truck. And, and I, of course I called Derek back and you can tell he's very frantic <laughs> over the phone. I was irritated. He was, he was like irritated, frustrated, didn't know what to do. Cause I, I mean, as much as I love you, buddy, I, I the one thing I, I knew say to call insurance the, the, and well, I'd already had it the, towed the, to the dealership. The one thing that Derek is not is, is a mechanical person. Yeah. Uh, yes and no dog I, don't lie i had my suspicions of what it was I, I asked you to check the battery cables and you sounded like that was a fucking like it wasn't mystery. gonna be the cables okay <clears throat> but uh what did the other shop ended up say it was they said that the connector was corroded the completely cables. through it doesn't matter anyways long story short i get Derek, and he's he's obviously frustrated and, and in my head obviously i want to help him in any way possible and i'm trying to diagnose things over the phone which is not very easy uh, but with the information that I got, I'm sitting there telling them, like, dude, it sounds like it's a fucking alternator. It sounds like it's a fucking alternator. They end up towing it to a dealership, <clears throat> and it sounds like they, they treated him pretty good. They got him in, in a reasonable amount of time, which is I thought was pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. And what with what they repaired without actually seeing the car, I was like, well, it kind of makes sense. Derek gets home. And uh, the day before he goes to uh, Oklahoma City, so he comes back home, didn't have any problems driving the vehicle home, and for like the first week, wasn't it? A couple weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks. Didn't have any issues, and I get a fucking phone call a couple nights ago, and it's Derek, and he's pissed, and he's just like... Not pissed. Upset. When you're driving home, you're like... You're like, God damn it, Scotty. It's doing the exact same fucking thing again. Oh, that was yesterday. Was it no, yesterday? That okay. was yesterday okay. when it did it. I yeah. called you and asked you about the battery light flickering. Oh, uh, yeah. And, and so he ends up calling me, and he sounds frustrated. It's doing the exact same fucking thing again. Oh, man. Thank you for telling this story. Yeah. And uh, gets it gets it towed in. Turns out it needs an alternator. But now I have the very thing that i have to get back at my friend who has given me shit publicly on the internet for four and a half years and i have it in my hands and i can't do shit i won't i just i can't the technician working on the vehicle is a listener of the show thought the same shit we we know what what's wrong with it and he didn't want to fuck with Derek either good you just wouldn't do it i appreciate I'll it i'll do it You'll do it? Yeah, let me at him. Come see me at work. Yeah, man. Let me at it. <laughs> I got some ideas. Like, Fuck come on. Off. Let's <clears throat> sabotage. I mean, now I've got it in the shop. I can think of some very creative ways to fuck with your car. Yeah. I'll just I know, trade the son of a bitch in. I know I'm just how. i trade the son of a bitch in. <laughs> the funnest thing in, in the world to do is to to basically wire, uh, to have a hard wire go to the brake pedal, but also go into the steering column to where it activates the horn. Yeah. It's a little difficult, right. but it's fucking it's doable. funny. And it's funny. Yeah, and it's we should shit. do it. No, I can't. No. Unfortunately. But uh, but it's good. It's going to get fixed. It's going to be just fine. But So that. Uh, connected our weekends away. There's a lot more funny stuff, but I don't want to. So talk. was it the alternator? Yeah, it's it's the alternator. We've mm-hmm. we've actually got data showing that it is, and it's unfortunate that another shop Ooh, didn't do the, do do the testing that we did because yeah. they would have figured it out. It would have been fixed a long time ago. Yeah. It yeah. Um, but anyways, there's that. I uh, had Fourth of July as well. Fourth of July was a lot of fun. I got to hang out with my brother Fred. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we have a weird tradition on Fourth of July. Yeah, we light off fireworks and stuff, but we watch movies. Do you guys watch movies on Fourth of July? Fourth of July movies? No. Like you have to watch the Independence Day with Will Smith and the aliens. You have to watch that, and you have to watch the Sandlot. You have to. It's just like a requirement. Nope. So that's a you thing. It's a you thing. All right. Yeah. Fine. For sure. Uh, but I watched the fireworks. Did you? That's what I Well, you do that at night. Mm-hmm. It's stupid to send up mortar shells during the day. You can't see shit, man. I don't know. It's pretty funny. I had a customer bring me in a quarter stick of dynamite. And I went over to <laughs> I went over to my buddy Brian. I went over to Brian's uh, and he's like, watch this shit. Because he had a whole bunch of people over. He just bought a nice new million dollar house. Yeah, good for him. And uh, he's like, watch this shit. And uh, all the kids and adults were off doing something, and Brian takes that motherfucker, lights it in the fire pit, and throws it. Just <laughs> boom! <laughs> His wife smacked the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are all crying. Oh, oh dude, God, that would be so awesome. Scared the fuck out of him. Yes. <laughs> That's fucking great. It was fucking hilarious. Um, but I guess to wrap up my weekend, obviously with 4th of July, I had a lot of days off, so I got to do a lot of golfing. Ready, ready for this, JP? Oh man, I can't wait. I'm gonna connect with you again. Okay, let's do it. So bowling and golf, I kind of have a, I have a, a feeling that's that's very very similar because it's bought, a sport. He bought some scented golf balls. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Those aren't golf balls. No, got a new <laughs> bought a new putter, but that's coming later. Um, but anyways, no, it's a sport that you kind of or a game, if you will. Um, like you can have some shitty attempts 
that are shitty games or shitty throws, whatever it is. But there's that one fucking one that just keeps me coming back. And that with golf, that's basically what happened. I had great weeks, great rounds, but a shitty shot was was going to happen. But that one fucker that like I hit maybe two inches away for a fucking birdie or an eagle or something like that keeps you coming back every time. I could have done a lot of other shit for my weekend, but I decided to do that because golf sucks, but I want to keep doing it. Right? Yeah, man. That's bowling. No. Okay, you're just better at bowling. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's our week, week recap. That's all I got for this week uh, for that, uh, but that's fun. That means we got to get on to the, to the current events, current events. The first thing I wanted to ask you guys, because I don't know much about it, all I know is it's very, very viral on the internet. Have you seen this chick that's on an airport that's actually like running the fuck off of the off the airplane? And she looks back and she says, everyone can either believe it or not, but he's not real or whatever. That motherfucker is not real. Have you seen that video? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it like a million times. It's yeah. everywhere. What the fuck did she see that dude do? And they can't find this chick. She's not going what out dude? on social media. I wouldn't either. You wouldn't? Fuck no. Wouldn't what? come out on social media. Everybody, somebody in, in like her town or knows her or something, and nobody's coming forward and saying, what the fuck did you see? I mean, the conspiracy theories are really hot right now of people being lizards and stuff like that. I mean, like, what the fuck happened? What the fuck did she see? He's not real? Yeah, I said he's not real. It's probably John Cena. Dude. <laughs> Is that what it was? It, it was, was like, John Cena. <laughs> John Cena yeah. said that. She's like, that motherfucker's not <laughs> <Yeah>. real. <laughs> he just disappeared. Weird. And then they, over the airplane, you hear... Absolutely. I like to think that. Sunday. So technically, Scotty, she didn't see anything. That's correct. Yeah, I've not seen that. Uh, actually, today there was another cool thing I saw on the news. There was a guy, uh, apparently, I don't know if there was a hostage situation or anything in Las Vegas, but somebody was in a hotel, broke the window of a hotel, and threw the goddamn uh, like dresser, the TV stand or whatever, out the fucking window. Broke the window. And this is probably a good 20, 30 floors up. Nice. Let that bitch fall down. Man. Wow. Meth. 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 Meth will do that. A lot of good it. meth in Vegas. I'm, do it. I'm convinced that people are crazy everywhere yeah you know what i'm saying like i feel like we're pretty you know standard normal fucking individuals but god damn there's some crazy stupid motherfuckers in hell this yeah world. there are when i was driving to oklahoma on the highway i saw a pt cruiser <laughs> that's enough <laughs> and, and it had a personalized tag and it said my reward <laughs> i'm like what'd you get wow. 12th place yeah, <laughs> like, what do you mean your reward <laughs> What the guy in eleventh get like a ten dollar <laughs> gas card? <laughs> My reward. <laughs> yeah, I've also noticed that I can't. Uh, I, I'm misreading shit a lot. Oh, not really? like signals, but like I'll just glance at something and be like, I thought that totally said something different. Yeah, that I uh, I do that too. There's there's a restaurant that's going up uh, over by Side Pockets over at 21st and Tyler. It's uh -huh. called Sticky Bird or something like that. Uh -oh, it's like you, a chicken place. What do you think it said? I saw Sticky Bird, <laughs> okay. but underneath they had their slogan, and I thought it said Abduction Chicken. <laughs> Abduction Chicken. <laughs> I was like, man, we 180. <laughs> like for years it was like, I want free range chicken, and now it's like, don't even think about bringing me that chicken unless it's been blindfolded, beaten, and waterboarded. <laughs> Don't even give it to me. My chicken better come with a <laughs> ransom note. <laughs> Which really, if you think about it, That's like, cool idea. like all your chicken really is, you are paying ransom. Yeah, you and are. And they give it to you in pieces, just like the mob. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Here's a leg. You'll get the rest of them when I get another $13.68. <laughs> What did it actually say? Do you know? Uh, addiction chicken. <laughs> oh, addiction chicken. Yeah. So it actually. Uh, I don't now. I don't want my chicken unless it throws out a dresser out of a Las Vegas hotel window. <laughs> 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 oh, that's, oh, that's good shit. Very well done. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Uh, more of the sports. Uh, we got, uh, per the score, I guess there's been a big announcement. Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou are going to fight in a boxing match on October the 28th in Saudi Arabia. Who the fuck's Francis Ngannou? Francis Ngannou probably ha is one of the most intimidating, biggest, largest athletic men I've ever seen in my life. He's an MMA fighter. Oh, even bigger and more athletic than me, huh? Uh, wow, that's oh, hard to believe. No shit. There are people in wheelchairs that are more athletic than you, dog. No, they're not. And and retarded. They're still more athletic than you. Mm -mm, just because they got their own Olympics don't mean shit. Yeah, Just because you 
you can roll down a hill faster than them doesn't mean shit. No, uh, I can't. I get dizzy. That's true. Uh, but no, Francis Ngannou is a bad motherfucker. And most of the fighting that he does in, in the cage is boxing. So I just wish they'd stop trying to fucking cross these two up. I kind of, that's kind of why I I'm said. I'm over it. That's kind of why I brought this up is because being an MMA fan that I am, I thought, I thought a long time ago, like even when Conor McGregor was fighting uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr., I even I was like, he's got a a fighter's shot if he just catches it. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No. Boxers are a it, it is such a fucking uh, detailed sport. Yeah. That these guys that call it the sweet science. Well, yeah, it, it's just it's it, Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou. Why I think while I think both of them, if one of them catches the other with a haymaker. I don't think Tyson Fury, because he is so good, I don't think he will let that happen. This is like when Rocky fought Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is That's, with that thunder yes. lips and Rocky. This yes. is what this shit is. I mean, it's like, just stay in your fucking lane. And Tiffany Haddish, stop doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> just act. Yeah. Wow. Just fucking act. The only thing is, though, is that you are going to continue to have people that want to see this. They there are people who want to see Francis and Ganu fight Tyson Fury. Those are the same people who are gonna go watch the new Fast and the Furious. <laughs> True. Good point. <laughs> Touche. But they're gonna make a shitload of money for it and uh I Awesome, I'd fight him for a shitload of money. Absolutely. They're gonna make a hell of a fucking payday. Uh and I may also order this pay per view. Um but yeah I, I still think Tyson Fury is gonna win that fight. It's all the way in October. We'll see what happens. Uh, next thing, uh, ESPN's uh, flagship TV show called Undisputed is now announcing a two-month hiatus because they can't find a replacement for Shannon Sharp. Anybody uh, fucking surprised? Skip Bayless is just kind of sitting there waiting for somebody that will actually come and talk to him and uh, be kind of his little bitch. I think they should just get Shannon Doherty, and then it can still be Skip and Shannon. Okay. I like I that. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Sure, I'm sure anything. she's not doing shit. No, not at all. Yeah. And and uh, Skip could talk over her and just kind of walk all over her like, uh, you know. Like I don't know. She, it gets scary sometimes when you try to talk over a woman. I don't know. Give her some idol. She'll calm down. Uh, next thing, uh, it might be time to take the kids out of the outfield during the home run derby. That was fantastic. It was fucking great. I loved it. I love it. I do, too. I now they're, they're going to put nets up in the outfield. Uh, <laughs> Motherfuckers. Please don't. Please don't. They better not. Please don't. I feel like they're probably going to end up like coveting the outfield, you know, where they put up the, the cardboard cutouts of little kids, and that's what they're going to have to resort to. So that way, if they get hit. Then there's no. They're going to be wearing hurt. helmets next year. Oh, I'm telling you, fuck's sake. they're going to be wearing helmets <clears throat> in the outfit. That kid got fucking just drilled in the head, just an absolute piss missile to his face. It was excellent. <laughs> It was fucking excellent. And it was from Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Helmets in the Outfield sounds like a movie. About <laughs> yes. A it's Disney <laughs> movie about a retarded kid that went to play yeah. baseball. Right. <laughs> and he was he ended yeah. up being like the best outfielder yeah. ever. Yeah. He had some form of like autism that made him so an amazing So then they just outfielder. hired all the retarded kids yes. and now they played all the positions. Helmets well, in yeah. the Outfield. Well, Ronnie's yeah. never played a sport in his life but loved baseball. Exactly. Yeah. Have you seen my baseball? Oh, fuck. Helmets in the outfield. Helmets in the outfield. Uh, probably, probably by Fucking Disney. get on this shit, Disney. <laughs> no shit. Where are you at? God damn it. We've got to be all inclusive. We need helmets in the outfield. <laughs> That's fucking great. Uh, anyways. They can be athletes, too. They can. Absolutely. Uh, and, and by the way, it's Vlad- fucking great. <laughs> that's a great idea. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero. Their handlers have to go out there with them <laughs> yeah. because they can't be alone. Yeah. And you got to have a handler. And you got to catch a baseball with two hands. So somebody's got to be moving that remote control oh, thing. You know what I'm Yeah, absolutely. Oh, going to hold the leash. Yeah. Quit showing the left field stand your muscles and get yeah. in the game. <laughs> 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 that's fucking terrible. Oh, shit. Anyways, Vlad, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And the left fielder's <laughs> twerking. <laughs> He's going all oh, wow. <laughs> he got hit in the back of the head. He, yeah. Uh, what if he got hit in the head and then he was normal? Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, pow. Well, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Why the fuck am I in a wheelchair? Yeah. yeah. This is so stupid. Fuck. <laughs> 
God damn it. Then they just start taking retarded kids, uh, lining them up in the outfield and smacking line drives at them, <laughs> yeah. trying to cure them. Yeah. This is the only thing we found that works. Yeah. <laughs> it's 50-50. God damn it. Knocked the chromosome right out of them. Big yeah. f- <laughs> <laughs> Pfizer will get some kind of shit saying you can't do that unless it's licensed. Uh, Anyways, all right. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. ends up winning the home run derby, uh, which uh, followed up uh, his uh, his dad. He won it back in 2007. I think it's the first father and son who actually have ever won the uh, home run derby. So congratulations. Uh, what's his name? Hadn't he won it before? Huh? Hadn't he won it before? Vlad Jr.? Yeah. He lost to Pete Alonso in the final. Yeah. Mm. So uh, that was two years ago. I actually watched that with you, I think, at, uh, no, at you the bar. We don't, we don't hang out. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Thanks, man. Seems legit. Dick. Uh, next one. Chiefs. I don't want people getting the wrong idea about Absolutely. Us. No kidding. Uh, <laughs> Thinking we're friends and shit. Right. Yeah. I'm just here for the show. I can actually Tonight. replay. I screen recorded the phone call of Derek calling me in the middle of the night. I'm on the side of the road. Help me. It was daylight, you dumbass. I'm 100 miles away from you. What the fuck do you think I can do? No, I just wanted to know what you thought and what uh, I should do. Okay, whatever. Uh, Chief Saholic, the Kansas City Chiefs super fan that dressed as a wolf, has now been arrested. Uh, apparently, he is alleged, or he's the alleged bank robber. Uh, he was arrested in California. Uh, apparently, he decided to go into these banks, rob the banks in the same outfit that he wore to the Kansas City Chiefs games. Pretty much confirming that all Kansas City Chief fans are fucking idiots. Yeah, mm-hmm. just wait till the Phoenix Sun Gorilla gets arrested in that serial rape case. <laughs> 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 just mascots committing crimes. Oh my hey. god! Hey. The Philly fanatic killed a guy. Hey, helmet! Somebody in- get that kid a helmet. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> we're, uh, we're we're watching the uh, MLB All Star Game. Somebody get that kid a helmet this, and put him yeah, in the outfield. This kid running around the bases needs a helmet. He's just waving to everybody. Get your helmet. He's too healthy guy. for a Make a Wish kid. Uh, I think so too. Yeah. Oh man, Freeberg. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but yeah, so uh, are you shocked? Are you shocked by this guy finally getting arrested? I guess he's been you know on the run. How expensive for it is to go to an NFL game? You got to rob a bank to I'd fucking be, afford it. That's no kidding. Especially his seats. On now that the Chiefs are good, all the bandwagon people are buying up all the tickets. <laughs> uh, wow! So uh, it's driving fucking statements. prices up. Statements of, of this show are so true. That is fucking absolutely correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, not shocked. Kind of shocked that he was in California though. Um, wow, well, you're on the run. I'm not going to stay in Kansas City. Yeah, right. I mean, if I was going anywhere, I'd be those. It, I'd be getting a tent. I mean, He's everybody probably, else would be doing it. Probably on his way to training camp. Uh, probably. Yeah. yeah, that's probably what it was. And uh, last but not least, uh, Tom Segura's new special came out over the weekend on Netflix. It came out uh, July 4th. Uh, have you watched it? I watched it last night. Uh, JP, have you watched it? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to have a little bit of a spoiler alert, but he does. Okay. He does tell a pretty good joke uh, about the. Uh, the Westboro Baptist Church, which hails in Topeka, Kansas, state that we are from, of how they were picketing and boycotting or trying to protest his stand-up uh, comedy special um, when he was there in Topeka, Kansas. And um, we got tagged so much about this because people thought, hey, you're in Kansas. Uh, we do not affiliate ourselves with those stupid motherfuckers up there. We do not affiliate ourselves with right. those stupid I'm no. pretty sure you're a recruiter. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure you made the signs. Yeah, dude. Shut up, Derek. Scotty's like, sign party in my house, yeah. 6 p.m. Yeah. We're going to get those faggots this time. <laughs> yeah. uh, That's yeah. what I interrupted when I called about my car. Right. <laughs> that I, bet. Yeah. I bet. I bet. Seems He's like, legit. God damn it, I'm protesting a Matchbox 20 yeah. concert. What do you Seems want? Seems <laughs> legit. These motherfuckers picked Topeka, Kansas for their, like, base or whatever. And the best part about them is, is that everybody that lives in the neighborhood surrounding their church, if you do not know, is, like, rainbow colored. The houses, yeah, they, the yeah, fences, all, yeah. everything. Just to make them feel, I mean, those people are fucking pricks. I like and to so, think that it was like a field of dreams situation, how they ended up in Topeka. If you build it, He's they like, will come. If you hate them, he will come. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, they're a trip. Uh, they they my, really one are. One of my photos, I went to, I think it was a Green Day concert, and they were protesting it, and I was like, hey, honey, I give her my phone. I was like, get a picture. And I run up to him, and there's a photo of me just fucking giving him the double bird looking back at my wife like, yeah. So yeah. I'm very proud of that photo. I'm sure you are. Uh, yeah, fuck them. Uh, not all Kansas people are like that, I promise. 
Uh, but that is 87%. Only, yeah, only a third of the people on this show are like <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. So one in three. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, that is the current events for this week's uh, episode. Um, now we get to move on to the fun stuff, right? Oh, yeah, man. I'm stoked. Good. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm sure you can't. Woo! Woo! I like it. Way to be positive for once. Uh, we yeah! Get to move on to overrated or underrated. My favorite segment. Is it? No. I didn't think so. All but I right. like it. I'm going to say it's yours, your favorite from now okay, on. Okay, cool. That's what I'm going to do. Bet. Uh, overrated or underrated again guys if you have any suggestions for any of these you can send them to us at laughing on the sidelines on instagram or at lot <laughs> sidelines on twitter uh but we're gonna go with the very first one it is overrated or underrated being completely silent when you hear your doorbell so they don't know you are home overrated what Yes, it's more fun to be completely loud and not answer your door. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm with you. I did this. I'd rather let them know I'm home and be like, fuck you, I ain't answering. I did that to trick-or-treaters. That's awesome. Yes, you know, yes. <laughs> like, they would show. I'd have the porch light and on. And when they would ring the doorbell, the porch light would go That's off. That's exactly what yeah. I did. I'm looking, the, I'm, looking the, I'm looking out the hole of the door, and the trick-or-treaters come up, and they ring the doorbell. Uh, I turn the lights off, and then I hear, I hear, <laughs> trigger treat we know you're in there and then i go no i'm not yeah, nobody's home it was great and then i ate all the candy yeah i bet you ate the candy already that's why you had to do it no no you just don't your parents would buy it all and then you don't give it to just them. open that's up right. the blinds that, oh, I, was doing that too. I was doing that too Show them the bowl. I got a bunch of it. You're not getting any. Mm-hmm. The best part is, is you're staring their parents down at the same time because <laughs> yeah. you know they're standing in the driveway. Oh, yeah. Oh, Full it's fucking, fucking great. That's, That's awesome. awesome. We never got egged. I don't know. I <laughs> 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 never did. Eggs are expensive. Yeah, this is underrated. I do this shit. I, I I definitely. If you ring my doorbell and I don't know you're coming, that's the thing. That's like the telltale sign that it's somebody you don't want to be there. Is if you get a you get a, a you knock on the door or your doorbell rings, you immediately check your fucking phone. Who does that? Who just shows up out of the blue somewhere? Uh, solicitors, people that are trying right. to sell you shit door to door. Nobody it's you want to talk to. Nobody you want to talk to. No, never. It's always. Uh, I haven't got a text message, so whoever's out there ringing our doorbell or knocking on the door is going to be fucking standing there until they decide to leave. Mine's, I got an Amazon package. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, that's all mine is. I'll wait 15 to 20 minutes before I go and answer the door to make sure, because they'll drop it there. They'll just leave. Oh, they leave it. Yeah. yeah. So, How about you, JP? I say overrated. You do, too? Yeah. You want to fuck with the kids? Yeah. I'm sure you do. 100%. <laughs> I'm sure you Only do. Only if they're 18. Yeah. Uh, fine. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated TikTok cooking videos? JP? Depends. Uh, okay. Like, I think they're overrated. Okay. I don't care to watch them, but they're probably underrated if you're the person doing them and making money doing it. Oh, okay. I see. I'm going to say underrated. Okay. Um, because some of the the chef reacts guy oh he's great is the fucking best yeah he's awesome i love that he's like what the fuck is this okay you're doing that all right <laughs> four out of ten i'd eat it <laughs> like, yeah. the very yeah. end. it's fucking great it like is. that guy's fantastic I, but for the most part i don't watch him but i love watching that guy i do too he, he has like the like the five-star michelin chef do yeah. shit and like he just sits there and just sucks his dick the entire time just like jesus christ that's absolutely fucking amazing that's absolutely fucking beautiful absolutely 10 out of 10 i would engulf that shit yeah yeah. I love that guy, too. Uh, I would say it's underrated. Not necessarily for me watching the cooking videos. I would say it's underrated because my wife watches those cooking videos. Oh, nice. And, and she makes, she shit, makes for shit for me, and so Hell I get to yeah. eat it. That's why That's, it's underrated. I like it. I like it. Uh-huh. Man. You're mm. catching me. I am. Yeah, I'm so working you know. on it. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to you know, get to your level, bud. Pretty soon we're going to be swapping shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, I don't have oh, any clothes man. that fit me anymore. Yeah. I got Hang you on, covered. I got a couple hand me downs. Yeah, that's true. Uh, all right. Next one overrated or underrated? Donkey shows. Underrated. Fuck. Way overrated. Underrated. Shrek was such a good movie. <laughs> oh, God. All the Shreks. Yeah. Even Happily Ever After. All the Shreks were so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with overrated because I know what a donkey show is, and so do you. And, uh, <laughs> What's a donkey show? That's uh, mm-mm. nope. What's a donkey? I th- I've heard 
that the smell alone <laughs> oh god is enough to make you never want to, to go again <laughs> well shrek is an ogre so i understand he lives in a swamp it's true yeah yep. that's uh mm. what am i missing here I, no, you're not missing anything not though. a whole lot no no nope, not gonna go there jp if you want to you can I had a donkey show in my bedroom <laughs> last weekend. Do you have it on Ooh. Blu-ray or something? No. I got it on iPhone video. I'll send it to you. <laughs> oh, no. I'm out. It, it's me, and a, bad, it's me and a bad dragon. You'll love it. I got the whole trilogy. Yeah. yeah. It's mm. great. It's good stuff. Okay. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Putting your hand down a girl's pants and it feels like you're feeding a horse. Holy fuck. <laughs> I imagine that's probably what it would feel like. Yeah. I go over, I go underrated. No, overrated. Yeah, way overrated. Way overrated. Way overrated. Nobody uh, wants to do that. Oh. No, you, you don't? Nope. Underrated. Third base is third base. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. Even, can they even move it like that? Does that work? <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, oh, man. Kegels, man. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you're doing your yeah. Kegels. I had one pick a dollar bill up off my nose. <laughs> I've seen that, actually. That yeah. Good call. Good point. <laughs> Absolutely. Good point. Good point. It's like one of those little grabbers. <laughs> mm. uh, I have standards. This is overrated. And uh, <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, you get on here a lot, do you? I, no, I just, I just got standards. That's it. It, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> last but not least. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You get on this deal a lot, do you? Uh, no. Um, my wife and I don't have kids. so. Oh, so you use Chatterbait all the time. No. What the fuck yeah. is Chatterbait? Uh, anyways. <laughs> it's where you can go see my donkey show. <laughs> oh, God. JP's looking ahead. Netflix? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, old people on Chatterbait. Yeah. I don't know what fucking Chatterbait is. so It's where you jerk off and you can oh. it's swipe left, swipe right. It's like Twitter for masturbation. The only way I found oh, out about right. this shit was it was on another podcast and yeah. there was this really fucking old dude that was uh very it was what do you got left you know what i mean it was Uh, so uncomfortable this is this is george george has nothing left (laughs) it was it was so uncomfortable like and the best part was is we were like i was driving listening to this podcast and i have it like on uh youtube up on my phone while we're driving and my wife was in the passenger seat and I, I was going to turn it off, but her reaction and cringe reactions was, so worth was priceless. Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. Hey, man. I mean, you just skip it real quick. I mean, everybody's got their fucking chance to jerk off on camera. And even if you're old, you know, they don't have any age restrictions or anything. It's like uh, it's like OnlyFans Live is yeah, what, I was right, to- okay. what I was told. So... I don't I I don't know how it works but just old people on a webcam I hope in general clothed or not <laughs> even when they're clothed they're annoying I, I I don't see how this is possible I <laughs> I can't get old people to sign up for online banking yeah. because it's too confusing. Yeah, well. How in the fuck are they learning to jack off on camera? That's two things that they don't know how to work properly. Their dick and the internet. I don't understand how this happens. I, I'm going to say, hey, man, if you're making money, go for it, I man. don't think they are. I don't know. There's some... There's some weird There's motherfuckers some weird out there that are into some weird there. shit, man. I found I found out somebody was in like the top ten percent of OnlyFans, and all it, to be polite, I just went, "Oh, really? Good for you." That's that's what I said. Uh, so yeah, uh, and I thanked you for that compliment. <laughs> <laughs> top ten percent, good stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to the new segment. This is called Life Advice from Idiots. We're going to take some situations. Uh, these are not, yeah, they're real situations, but nobody's assigned to them. But okay. uh, we're going to start with the very first one. Uh, first situation is a man and his wife have a spectacular relationship and are very happy together. Lies. <laughs> yeah, this is already a fake story. Yeah. Fake news. Shut fake up. news. However, they her hopped on a dragon <laughs> <laughs> and they yeah. had a donkey with him. Went to Narnia. Mm-hmm. 
However, her mother seems to overstep her boundaries on a regular basis. She keeps coming over to the house unannounced, inviting herself to friend get-togethers, and lectures the couple on how they should be doing their relationship. What should they do to rectify the situation? Kill her. <laughs> I think that's the only thing you can do. <laughs> what? I think that's your only option here. Actually, kill them both. Kill them. What? Which one? The wife and the, wife the mom. And the because oh. the wife's just going to turn out like that Absolutely. eventually. You just kill them both. So you're saving your kids' problems, too. Kill two bitches no. with one bullet right there. Yeah. Boom. No. You, how you do it, you line them up. Mm-hmm. And then Kennedy you, style. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Magic yeah. bullet. No, Magic I think bullet. there's a logical, rational way to deal with this. I can't think of it, but but I'm sure no, there has to be you have to, to kill them one. both. Because I, if you try to get her to fucking control her mom, she'll... She'll freak out. She'll end up being like her mom. Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. So yeah. just do yourself a favor and your kids a favor and just fucking plug them both. Oh, and no, I didn't say yeah. kids are involved in this. Maybe well, they're, they're all kids. by I like to think they, they are. They are. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. Kids, yep. you're never going to see your mom again. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> or Meemaw. <laughs> yeah, Meemaw's gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's fucking terrible. Uh, wow. Okay. All right. Uh I, I, I'm, I'm, we can go down to the basement and visit their grave. They're in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, Enjoy your new playroom. Uh, I think. I mean, like those are three things that really need to come to a stop. People that uh, invite themselves to like public gatherings piss me off, but I do that all the time. Uh, that's how I get over to Derek's house. Yeah, it's the only way you can. That's exactly right. Uh, but <sighs> as far as like coming, like coming to the house unannounced, if my wife's mom did that, no problem. I really like her mom. Her mom's okay. Um, the rest of her family, though, on the other hand, fuck that shit. So mm, okay. go for that. Uh, next one, uh, a young man has a crush on the hottest girl in the entire school. He is not a star athlete and hangs out with a completely different group of friends. What should he do to increase his win probability? What? We're, what's that? Not, why is that my problem? I don't know. No, we're giving him advice. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say you got off. You got to get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All of them. Huh? All of them. Yeah. And yourself. Kill them all. And Murder yourself. suicide. Murder suicide. Think, you're back to the first one. No. No, I'm on the second one. Second one. Oh, second yeah, one. Yeah. No. You if gotta, no one else can have her, then you, then you've got to kill her. If you're the only one, no. And then you kill yourself. No, I think that this one I actually have. And you a can game. be together in the afterlife. I have a game plan for this one. Okay. I actually do have a game plan. For Show her Revenge of the Nerds. That way she knows how cool you really are. No. <laughs> no. Just do what happened to her at the re- end of Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah. Just dress up in a Darth Vader costume. Yeah, and rape. fuck her on the moon. Yeah. No, there's that. <laughs> Sneaky fucker. And then she doesn't realize who she's having sex yeah. with. I actually have a legitimate game plan. All right, plan man. Let's this. hear it. Yeah, it's ha- it happened. It happened to me. Uh, you, you, go after, you go after a friend. You go after her best friend. And, you, and seriously, this is no joke. You, you go after the best friend. And if, you, and if you're, like, really unattractive, too, you go after the ugliest friend of the group. That's legitimate. And you treat her so well. And then you kill her. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I knew she was going to yeah. die. Girls talk and girls get jealous. People get people OD on And they love the drama. They really do. So you have so the poor everything. ugly bitch that you're just setting up. You're just using her as a fucking stepping stone. Oh, that's, Fuck that's, her. Oh, Who that's, cares? That's collateral damage. Collateral damage. Fuck All right. yeah. Absolutely. Okay. No, you got to get to the goal. This is to make the move to get to the highest. I'm win with Derek. Probability. I say you just kill her. No, you don't got to kill her. Kill you her. I, I say you go that route. Treat her as good as you possibly can. Show the the really hot one that you actually want. I mean, I get what you're go saying. There. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. I don't know I, if it'll work. It may not work, but I'm saying that increases girls your are percentages. Very, girls are fucking dumb. They so are, that they are, might work. They are dumb, mean, and jealous. So that's yeah. that's how you that's how you get that shit. Okay. And last situation for life advice from idiots. Uh, A young woman is on a date that is not going very well. He's tall, dark, and handsome, but he seems very shy. What should she do to get him to open up to her and want a second date? Reach over and start jerking him off under the table. I don't know. Yep. Shy, man. Or kill him. (laughs) (laughs) I'd say just kill him. Yeah, you know, just fuck it. Just cap that shit. I think you get him into an environment that he's comfortable in. You find out what he likes to do. Okay. Get him into that environment. Maybe kind of start 
getting a little frisky. And then you kill them. <laughs> and then you kill them. <laughs> Good advice, Derek. I like to think so. I, li- fuck, I enjoyed it. Fucked up second date. Thanks for playing the game. No, there isn't one. No. Yeah, you're trying to get... She's, well, second she, date, you're burying them. I guess. No, yeah, right. She's she's attracted to the guy. He's very, very attractive, but he's just being How quiet. How big is his penis? Well, I mean, you, it's... That matters. You're the girl in this situation there. Yeah. Are you going to cut so, it off and take it after you kill him? For sure. Okay. Wow. I mean, sure, it, you got to have a trophy. It does dry out over time. So, I mean, you're right. It gets hard after a while. Sure. I got a necklace made of ears. I get it. You got <laughs> I, got, I got a necklace made of ears. <laughs> That's so fucked I can hear up. what you're saying from a mile away. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Is it... <laughs> <laughs> if you hold it up to your ear, can you hear a human? Was like the scene, you know what I mean? Like Jeffrey Dahmer called it a candy necklace. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. A yuck! Yikes! No, you missed it. It's too late. Uh, my mine is just is like a non disclosure agreement. I think if you involve that, I think guys nowadays are so fucking scared and terrified of like trying to make a move. Yeah, or, you get me too. Exactly. Yeah, right. And they me too, and you kill them. No. Yeah. yeah so I I think <laughs> either I, way. I think killing him is the answer here, Scotty. Yeah, she, she wants a second date. It's a good-looking dude. I would suggest... I think this is a great segment. Take the fear out of it. I can't Just wait to do it again. Take the fear out of it. You guys are dicks. I can't wait to do this one again. Can we do it again next week? No, we're not going to. You know what? I'm going to let you write the show week next week, JP. Oh, well, fuck it. It'll probably be the best show we ever had. <laughs> fuck it. 100, 100 ways to kill your podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, it's not fair. It's not what's fair. our draft going to be? Best places to hide a body? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got a couple. You know what? That may be our draft today. I know. <laughs> I have the number one answer because nobody's ever found it yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fucking awful. <laughs> we had Jeez. a great show for you today, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of exciting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I was even hoping we to go. We got a brand new segment. <laughs> <laughs> Called Kill Him. <laughs> Called Kill Him. You have to kill him. It's the only way. I'd love to name this episode that, but guess what? With YouTube, they're being a bunch of bitches. <laughs> you know what we should do? Uh, <laughs> kill him. Kill him. Yeah. Kill, yeah. kill them all. Kill yeah. them all. Fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is our uh, life advice from idiots segments. <laughs> I liked it. I hope <laughs> high, it high emphasis on idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't try this at home, you fucking assholes. Uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions for these guys, send them to us at LOT Sidelines on Twitter or uh, on our Instagram, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines. So, yeah. Uh, first question for this week is, what is something you, I'm sorry, what is something you have always wanted to say to a customer at work? Oh, there's, I've got so many. Go ahead. Break out the list, dog. All here right, we go. Man, here we go. First, I would like to like the people that come in. I work in a restaurant. The people that come into the restaurant and they go to sit at the table, but then they immediately get up and go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. How the fuck far away were you (laughs) when you left the place you were at before that had a toilet Mm -hmm. till you got to my restaurant? How far could you possibly have driven that all of a sudden you just have to go to the bathroom? You don't have a vagina, JP, and you don't like them. You don't understand. Guys do it, too. Do they really? Yeah. Oh, well, those, It's fucking annoying. Those guys are pussies. Oh, dude, fucking when, when we were So that's the- what I want to ask them. When they get back from the bathroom, when I go to the table and get their drinks, I want to say, how far did you f- could you possibly have fucking come that you have to fucking piss as soon as you get here? J- JP, we've discussed this about Derek on the show. <clears throat> uh We've called, we, we talked about something called uh, post nut clarity. Yeah. Sometimes you need to do a little something before you order. And so you got to go to the bathroom to take care of that. So they're fucking in there flicking their beans? Could be. Mm, they're not in there very long. It doesn't take most of us very long. They wow. figured out what they wanted to eat. Okay. <laughs> Good deal. Okay. Well, that makes sense then, I guess. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. Number four. <laughs> 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 I, my wife, dude, I was really fucking killer. <laughs> uh, we were trying to figure out what to eat because we were going to grab something to eat on the whiff right as we were leaving for OKC. And uh, she's like, eh, fuck it. Let's just get snacks at a gas station. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. We can do that. So I grabbed a fucking taquito and some M&Ms, you know, real healthy. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. 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 And so 
She grabs like one of the fucking egg rolls because you get the best Chinese food at Quick Trip. <laughs> yeah, and, oh, yeah. Uh, Their egg rolls and are some fire. Bu- and some bugles. And some, and yeah. So, so we're driving. <clears throat> I eat my egg roll and or not egg roll, but my taquito and my fucking M and M's. She eats her shit. Uh, as we as soon as we got to the Quick Trip, she's like, "I have to use the bathroom." And I'm like, "Mother, we just left the fucking house." Right. So I'm like, "Okay, whatever." So she goes to the bathroom, then proceeds to get like fucking two drinks, sucks those down. We get like an hour and a half into the trip. She's like, gotta I got to go to the bathroom. bathroom. I'm like, oh, here fucker. we go. So she goes to the bathroom. I'm waiting in the car. She comes out of the bathroom. So we're at another gas station. She brings then all two of more a sudden, drinks. No, she, she, didn't, she didn't bring anything that time. But about 45 minutes later, we're like basically in Oklahoma City, but maybe like five or seven, five or 10 miles from our hotel. What are we doing? I'm almost out of gas. Bitch, we just stopped at two gas stations <laughs> so you could fucking piss. You and, didn't think about getting gas? Oh, my God. I'm like, killer. what are you? We <laughs> were, getting ready killer. Say, you had a wreck right now? Killer. I had a killer. I'm like, we you were at killer. two gas stations. She's like, I didn't realize I needed gas. I'm like, there's a... F- Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. right there by the speedometer. Love you, honey. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. Yeah, and that was the most ghetto fucking gas station. <laughs> it was a shell. Well, it used to be a shell, and someone just took black paint and yes. painted over the sign. And it says hell now. Yeah. No, it says nothing. Yeah. And, and then there's a, just a big piece of plywood that's spray painted with the, probably the same paint. Quick says, mark. Now open. Oh. Now open. And then you walk in, and they're watching a movie, and it is all the way up <laughs> in the middle of the gas station and you couldn't yeah. the, the pump didn't take cards i had to give them my card go pump my gas then come back and pay oh wow fantastic talking and they they took ebt cards so yeah. that was nice were they middle eastern no hmm. <laughs> so mm, that's yeah. good it was, it was great but go ahead back to the uh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. what were the other ones you wanted to say to a customer at work um I mean, a good-looking guy comes in. No, I've always yeah. wanted to be like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. We're completely full, but you can have a seat on my face. <laughs> I always want to say that, but I know that will get me fired. 100%. So Every single time. How about you, man? I know you got some. Yeah, you, you know, know as a banker, I really don't. But as a yeah. bartender, I said them. <laughs> right. Yeah. It didn't That's matter. how I, when I worked at QT, I said that shit. Oh, like, yeah. I, whatever I wanted to say, I said it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I would have a guy come in and be like, I'll take a PBR. I'm sorry, man. The shittiest beer we got is Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah I would say right. shit like that. You can get away with it. I yeah. love it. Mm-hmm. Whenever I had a, worked at the car dealership, and a guy was like, my horn don't work. I was like, that's why God gave you two fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> and he's like, well, I guess you're right. Uh, yeah, people would ask me whatever I was selling cars if I had kids, and I said no, but I think someday my wife's going to make an amazing single mom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I... Just don't yeah, hold right. back. You know, and yeah. at the bank, I don't really have to because we don't really get into those types of conversations. Yeah. Right. Most people are just, I need I need a withdrawal. That's it. You know, yeah. that's, that's it. So I don't yeah. have much where I am now, but everything where I was before, I just said it. Yeah. I And I work at, I, I work at a, uh, you know, an automotive repair place. And so it, it's actually kind of interesting because I, I honestly think that every single job has like those pet peeves that really piss everybody off, you know, and mine's really weird, but it, it happens daily and it fucking frustrates the shit out of me. But we have the automatic door. So you pull up to the, to the garage door and, and it, it goes opens. up automatically every fucking day. There is somebody who pulls up to the garage door. The garage door goes up. They park their car, like put it in park, and then, and then get in. out of the car and walk in. <laughs> yes. And I, I so badly want to come, and I have my own office. I have a, like a little area for well, just me that has a window directly <laughs> no in one. line. Yeah, we know you're with rich. These it's fuckers. Cool. And I get, I just want so badly to come out of my office and look at him and go, yeah, you're right. Pull up to a door. It goes up and you immediately think, oh, I should not pull in. No, I should park and block the fucking door and walk in. It just drives me fucking nuts. I know how I'm returning my loan. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah, no, guaranteed. Guaranteed. 
<laughs> keys are in the cup holder. Keys are in the stick. cup holder, <laughs> asshole. Oh, God. But there's tons of them. There's tons of them. Yeah. There's people that get out of their car, take their keys. And some of them, it's like it's a habitual action. You always have your keys in your pocket. So it doesn't matter. But the fucking asshole that takes them out blocks the entire rest of the way so nobody can move. Oh, just stupid shit like that. I would love to have like... Uh, of what did you call the the holiday that you would uh, fuck, fuck off, off Friday? Fuck yeah. off Friday would be excellent. I yeah, you know, and I think everybody has that thing. They have that one pet peeve at work. Yeah, it's so sure. when you really sit and think about it, you're like, so it's minutes. so stupid it's so that stupid. I hate this. Yes, yeah. but it fucking just pisses you off to no end. Yeah, I've always the going to the bathroom right when they get there drove yeah. me fucking yeah. crazy. Or when they sit down and they, when they or when they come into the restaurant. They're on their phone. They go to the table and sit down. They're on their phone. I won't go over to the fucking table until they're off their phone. I, 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 I agree with you. I, agree I have one you. guy that comes in that is on his phone from the minute he walks in the door till the minute he leaves, and I will go over and take his order and whatever because I know that he's never going to put his phone down. Oh, that sucks. Uh, you should just text him. And I actually, I actually kind of ended up really liking this guy. But, uh, yeah. Uh, you know. But but that's actually some interesting information that people that listen to this show I didn't know that like oh, my yeah. wife does that too oh drives me fucking so, crazy so so now get off your fucking phone no so no, I can no come not over that the table. not oh. that the bathroom thing the oh, bathroom yeah. thing she will come in and sh- and we will get seated at the table and before she even sits down has to go to the bathroom yeah. and she'll always go hey can you order me a this. Right and and at it, least she did that, but I'm not even coming to the table till that bitch is back. I completely understand. So here's the lesson: if you go to a restaurant, sit down, order get, your drink, then go to the fucking order bathroom. your drink, and then go to the bathroom. Yeah, man. Or yeah. if you're just out Many in things. public and somebody's actually is kind of shitty to you, yeah. Just think of what small thing did I just do? Because that probably yeah, right. Because that's probably them it. Off yeah. Every yeah. Time. or when they when you go to the table and they're like, "What's your favorite thing?" Oh, Bitch, like, I'm not eating. My favorite thing is somebody that looks at the menu and decides what the fuck they want to eat within the first fucking 30 minutes they're here. Like a That's fat, my favorite thing. No, I, your favorite thing is somebody asks you what your favorite thing is. I like big tips. That's what I like. Yeah, there, right. Yeah. As a fat son of a bitch, too, uh, <laughs> when you drive through McDonald's, know what the fuck you want. They've yes. had the same yeah. shit for 50 fucking changed. years. Yes. It hasn't changed. I did that with a buddy of mine. I was like, man, all that's open is McDonald's. He's like, that's fine. And we pull up to the drive through and they go, and I was like, what are you having? And he goes, uh, and I was like, motherfucker, they've had the same shit forever. <laughs> you know what it, the yeah. fuck do you want? And then I hear the people in the drive through speakers start getting <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, they know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, yeah. there's no, ah, uh, jeez, the choices. <laughs> when did you guys get spaghetti? <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, man. All What's, right. What comes on your Big Macs again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's a song about it, but I forget the words. Oh, uh, shit. That would be great if somebody would just start singing that through the McDonald's uh, drive through window, by the way. Just like, really, motherfucker? There's a song. Like, get it. Uh, next question. When all else fails, I can always jerk off to the idea of blank. My ex getting hit by a truck. Nice job, buddy. I think that's for everybody. Yeah. I put old people on chatterbait. Yeah, of course you did, because that's what you're into, and that's okay. I'm not here to judge. <laughs> <laughs> Derek? Uh, no, Derek's car breaking down on the side of the road. Yeah. What about you, Derek? Um, kids getting hit in the head with <laughs> baseballs, <laughs> line drives, yeah. <laughs> helmets in the outfield. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> All of us had great answers. Wow. Yeah. That was a good one. That was a good one. I liked it. All right. Uh, next one. One in four people regret blank. Taking random surveys. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say anal. Oh, well, that's, uh, yeah, it's in your line of work. One in four. Uh, oh. shit. Mm. That's why they regret it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Runny, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, Statistically, seven out of eight people enjoy gang rape. True. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Maybe all eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Uh, um, there you go, buddy. Uh, one in four people uh, regret marriage, but that's actually a low number. Oh, so yeah, uh, so I'd say one in four people actually regret trying meth. Yeah, I'd probably. say that's pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah. It's probably pretty close. Yeah, it, uh, it gets you. It's a hook right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one. 
What sport would be a little too difficult for a blind person to participate? Skeet shooting. Skeet shooting would be <laughs> but tough. That would be the best thing to watch. <laughs> yeah. Pulp. <laughs> what if they put bells in them? They put little bells in the skeets. I still think it's a little bit risky because when that son oh, of a yeah. bitch is getting loaded. I'm not going to be there in person to watch. I'm watching on TV. <laughs> I'm only watching I'm not, skeet yeah. shooting at Christmas if they do that. Yeah. <laughs> you get right. that dumb bitch with the Jingle Bell shirt and just pow. Well, there goes Jennifer. <laughs> Ugly Christmas sweater mm-hmm. that has bells on it. That's uh, what she gets. Her mother just keeps showing up to the goddamn house. I, I just, So I, I kind of thought about this uh, a little too hard, but have you seen the on the on ESPN, they actually have competitive tag? Have you seen that? Yeah, oh yeah, I've seen it. And they have they like have course they have this obstacle and, yeah, course yeah, with yeah. like bars and shit. Yeah, and they're fucking sweet. Yeah, that would be rough. That would be great. Mm-hmm. Uh, dude, full speed and somebody just fucking, just not even seeing it coming. It's just... Bam! That'd be fucking awesome. I would love that shit. So that's mine. JP? The pommel horse. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I think I could feel around for that. No, they're going to run right into that son of a bitch oh, no, every you're time. Talk, you're talking you know, about the, the, fucking vault. the, the, the vault. The as vault. Well. Not the pommel horse. Yeah. Oh, no, no. The vault. The vault. The vault. My yeah. bad. The vault. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see that. <laughs> Dude, I <laughs> just fucking, just fucking, you know, because they start running as fast as they fucking can. They hit that fucking vault. But it would just be it'd just be people running into the fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah, fuck, that would be awesome. So- <laughs> So I actually thought of this this question because of an idea I had over a video I had on Twitter. And it was this dude, and he was blind, and he was actually in track and field. And he was doing the long jump competition. And they count their steps. That's, yeah, how, right. they, no. that's how they figure yeah. out, right? Yeah. And uh, he counted his steps, but it, they were not straight steps. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, he fucking ran off the side, bro. He thought, Fuck. He, thought, he, he thought, I got this. No problem. I know what I'm doing. He thought so bad he was going to land in sand. He did not. Not. Dude, no, that's it, funny. It was good shit. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. I was thinking like American Ninja Warrior would be pretty oh, awesome, too. Oh, with yeah. With just blind people. Oh, yeah. That'd be way too many beeps to help them navigate that course. All right, and last question. What is the least sexy accent for dirty talk? Zip, zip. <laughs> What's that one? I, I, I don't Swahili. Know. Swahili. Yeah, Swahili. Yeah, Swahili. 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 Not real sexy. Um, I think all accents are pretty sexy. Really? Yeah. Hey, uh, you want to lick my pudding? That's not an accent. <laughs> That's not an accent. I, That's I, a fucking speech impediment. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Kind of sounds like an accent to me there, buddy. Yeah, I don't yeah. think so. No, I hear it's kind of Russian. Yeah. No, that it's didn't not, sound Russian. It's not Russian? Oh. Oh, this is Russian. Oh, that's this Russian. This is not uh, what you are doing. Yeah. Um, you are doing retarded. <laughs> you are doing retard. I just ate my pudding. Right. <laughs> right. You are doing a deaf retard. You want to eat my pudding? Well, that was my answer. <laughs> Death retard. Down syndrome. Down syndrome, yeah. Yeah. That'll definitely turn it on. That'll definitely do it. Yeah. Right? yeah. Do you uh, see a picture I do of me naked? <laughs> <laughs> you do a good downsy. I'll tell you a picture of me naked. You'll love it. Dude, I bet you I bet you if you went to an event, you could get free lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guarantee it. I'd fucking give you a lunch. I'd give you a brown bag. Yeah, Uh, I like it. Do you want to watch wrestling and fuck (laughs) later? (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Oh man, we're getting canceled. (laughs) Oh, surprise! We haven't yet. I'm gonna put it in your (laughs) ass. I hope you're ready. My have dick seen, smells like shit. Have you seen my lube? <laughs> it's okay. I'll just spit on it. <laughs> we don't need drew, lube. I drew enough for the both of us. Oh, man. I started a new Fame. movie called Helmet in the Outfield. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, there is actually a real one for me. You're a real Ken Goofy Jr., aren't you? <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, there's actually a real one for me. It really is. And... and I, I'm i admitting something on this show. I, I have a thing for redheads. Oh, yeah, me too. I got a... Uh, it's... But only the, it's only the hot ones in there. Oh, yeah, the hot ones, definitely. But the hot yeah. ones that are, have red hair, just, oh, oh my me too. God. Oh, yeah, me too. The problem is, is there are a shitload of redheads over in Ireland, and that accent can't get sexy. 
Imagine. I, oh, do you really think? Mend over, boy. We're all going to fuck you in the ass. I don't know. <laughs> sounds good to me. <laughs> sounds pretty hot. Okay, maybe for a dude, I guess for you. But for a chick with me, that's like. That is going to become dripping all out of you, boy. Oh, okay, e- I'm in. <laughs> okay. I, I like it. I don't know. I don't have a problem with yeah. it. Yeah. Fuck me arse. Like, I couldn't yeah. do that shit. But, <laughs> fuck me arse. Uh, <laughs> uh, but the, uh, Put a finger in it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to um, fucking come all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna fucking really get it, dude. Can you <laughs> now? Can you combine the two? The Downsy Irishman. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's, Let's try, try it. that. Let's try it. That might be hot. <laughs> That's right. You guys, hang on. Hold on. I got. I got to remember the other one now. Okay. How'd the other one go? I wanna. I wanna show you a picture. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. You got that one okay. down. I'm gonna fuck it like Douglas Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What was that? <laughs> I'm gonna make a mess out of your face like Chuck the Mill. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. Oh man. Instantly I got hard. <laughs> You're gonna be stickered than the point of Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, That's shit. a good damn it. That's oh. a good, I, tomorrow night I think you should do your whole set <laughs> as the retarded Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 and then I was gonna say Scottish, but um, oh, that that wins by far. Oh man! I bet your pussy tastes like applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking, cr- I'm fucking crying! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, this is obviously a comedy show. We are yeah. totally fucking kidding. We don't mean any of this. Sorry if we hurt anybody's feelings. Uh, Woo. Okay. Anyways, Ooh. that was <laughs> questions and predictions. And possibly the hardest I've ever fucking laughed. You almost uh, killed me. Oh, man. That's going to that's gonna, that's gonna be a clip. <laughs> <laughs> On Twitter? Yeah. TikTok ain't letting that shit. No. No. Uh, Unless you get me a helmet, I might be able to play the part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's one right here. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas, and that may have been the hardest I've ever <laughs> laughed in my entire life. Yeah. Uh, but anyways... <laughs> Now I get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Um, I cannot technically give myself the championship uh, picks this week because of how Badly, I lost. Just got your ass. Just kicked. got absolutely yeah. shit. That happens, Lacked. man. It happens to me quite a bit. We did vacation activities, like the worst vacation activities, and Jeremy was on the show, so Jeremy won. Yeah, of Na- course, naturally. Because Jeremy you, just always wins. It's fucking Jeremy. Unless, yeah. unless I'm on the show, I usually had a pretty good record. You against did Jeremy. have a pretty good record against Jeremy. I will give you that. Um, but um, but I did. I, my picks were shit that like I would never do, and so I didn't want to win. But one of mine was scuba diving because I'm terrified of sharks. There you go. So you know shit like that. Uh, so I totally take the L, 100. percent I take that, and uh, so I'm gonna get first pick. I'm gonna get losers pick this week. Uh, Derek hasn't won in a while, and JP has won most recently. I haven't so been here in a while. That's, that's how you haven't win. One, sorry. Okay. Win. Uh, show up every now and yeah, then. Show asshole. up. Jesus Christ. I prefer not to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of my thing. It is kind of the thing, yeah. Uh, kind of flaky. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> uh, right. JP. Like every guy on Grinder. That's right. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, JP gets championship like picks. Scrotal dandruff or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Derek gets the sandwich picks. I get first pick, and this week's draft is going to be. We've done the best before. Now we are doing the worst inventions of all time. All right. So I get first pick, and uh, 
I just I just don't understand this shit, and I bet you it's still out there. But I'm gonna go with spray on hair, fucker. You're yeah. a real piece of shit. Man. I think that's the one. God I, damn I, it. I think that's the 101. You have oh, to pick that. You're a piece of crap. Man. What? But it's true though. Whatever. It's that's awful. I don't care. LeBron did all right with it. I don't even want to play anymore. Yeah, until he sweat, and then it was mm. obvious. <laughs> it's like don't move, or, well, don't it, sweat. Rudy Giuliani when it was dripping down the side of his face. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's like this is <laughs> fucking ridiculous. All right, so that's my first pick. Uh, that's 101. Derek, you get the second pick. The shake weight. Ah, uh, man, that gets you some good abs, dude. The shake weight? Yeah, dude. Okay. Yeah. It just makes it look like you're jacking off. Oh, <laughs> uh, I use the real shake weight, and I have no abs. <laughs> touche. My, my dick is ripped. Yeah, touche. I have no abs. I give you that. Uh, how about you there, JP? You get two in a row, dog. Uh, let's go with the Pontiac Aztec. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That is fucking nice. good. Good one. Yeah, and, that's a good uh, one. Crocs. Ooh, oh, good one. I like yeah. That one. I like that one, too. I like that one. Damn. Okay. All right. Derek. Nuclear get, weapons. Oh, you're going to go. Something that can kill humanity. Yeah. Though I'm not opposed to doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I don't have a lot of faith in it anymore. <laughs> All right. I, I get it. That's that's good. Um, let's see what I got here. Um, I'm going to go with uh, hydrogen blimps. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. <laughs> what? Nothing, man. Just keep on. Can you name the blimp I'm talking about? Yeah, it's the Hindenburg. Very man. good. I had that. Uh, did you? Yeah. I'm very not shocked. anymore. I'm very shocked there, there, JP. Not anymore. Um, I guess uh, I will go. Son of a bitch. I guess I will go uh, with my third pick. I'm going to go with asbestos. Fucker. Yeah. It's bullshit. Come on now. It's, it's 2023. Let's make up some, uh, you know, some better shit. Uh, Derek, you get your third pick, dude. Uh, mm, Merkins. <laughs> Merkins it is. And that's how Derek wins the draft. Merkins. <laughs> <laughs> I go from nuclear weapons to Merkins. Yeah, they're both real shitty. Yeah. Well, with nuclear weapons, you can take it you out. You can keep your warheads, but <laughs> God damn it, no Merkins. <laughs> Rednecks are like, what are you talking about, Merkins? Uh, JP, you get two in a row. The Snuggie. God damn it. I was hoping that would come back. I was going there, too. Son of a bitch. And uh, Kid Leashes. Oh, yeah. I think that's a great invention. I feel like I was on one of those, if fucking memory serves me right. Why? So fucking stupid. I think it's great. Keep your fucking child in Control your fucking kid. You don't need to put your child on a leash. Yes, you fucking fucking do. Sometimes you do, man. Oh, yeah, you do. Uh, all right, Derek. JP gave me the idea for this one, so I'm going to go with it. Uh, since because of, of his first pick, the Chrysler PT Cruiser. <laughs> yep, that's a good one, man. Yeah, that's, that's a great one. That is a fucking. That's a good one. Good one. Not as good as the Aztec, though. <laughs> no. I don't know, man. People were paying over sticker for the fucking PT yeah. Cruiser. Oh. Dude, we went to vacate. We went on vacation to California one time, my ex and I, and. The car that we end up getting was a PT Cruiser. Those things are fucking pieces of shit. Oh, I know they, they are so trash, man. It was the most uncomfortable, fucked up car I've ever driven. Uh, you gonna take the HHR for the win, Scotty? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's there. Yeah, it's there. It's it's definitely there. Uh, but no, I'm I'm not gonna take it. Being a person in the automotive industry, you kind of they're all shit. They're just different yeah. logos yeah. on them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm going to go with the uh, ever popular comfort wipe. That's the thing that you put by the toilet to help you wipe your ass. No, um, I as some, I'm about 15 pounds away from <laughs> being one. Of yeah, <laughs> what yeah. website do you get that off? I'm of? just yeah. saying. I don't know if it's still around, um, but yeah, I think uh, I think that's that. And then I'm going to end on. Um, I think I'm going to end on one that 
it's not necessarily a bad invention, but the idea that you can have a fucking pet rock, sell that shit, and make millions of dollars yeah. just shows you how fucking stupid people are. People are dumb. People are dumb. So yeah. pet rock is my okay. last quote unquote Got invention. Cool. Fucking people are stupid. Okay. Uh, Derek, go ahead. You get your last pick. I have to pick it. I know you do. Uh, the detachable dog sack for cars. <laughs> the what? Uh, that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hard. Really. I don't think it ever caught on. Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, I can't this imagine was why. Patented and sold wow. probably in the forties. And just so you people understand, this is a dog sack for your car that but you hang it, outside it's the not fucking inside car. the no. car it's yeah. outside the car yeah you that dog hang. hooks in the windows and then you roll the window up <laughs> and the dog is just chilling yeah. at 75 miles an hour it looks on the happy highway. it looks happy you yeah. ever wonder why dogs want you to roll the window down so they can stick their face out the window it's because of this invention i like yeah. how it's labeled with everything grommets yeah large canvas sack yeah, hole for head. Hole for head. There you go. That's it. And JP with your last pick. <sighs> Most important and final. I got a couple of them. I don't. I'm going to uh, actually I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to go with the electric the dog collar that shocks them. Oh, okay. The okay. shock collar. Oh, yeah. No. Yep. Uh, okay. I'll go with that one. My other one was uh Strawberries and cream, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to go with a gangrene smelling bowling ball. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bad one. Uh, I'm going to take my pet rock away. <clears throat> you I'm already a, said it, I'm man. You never no, let no, me take shit the, away. All, oh, yeah. If you got any you want to take away, you can now. No, now. And your last pick. You your last pick no, you can always take away man. if all of everybody goes. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, I'll take my last pick away. Okay. I'm going to go with cat wigs. <laughs> cat, <laughs> cat wigs. <laughs> wigs for cats. For the win. Okay. All right. Uh, Jay- and you replace that the dog sack with a cat wig? Yeah. I disagree. I don't I think, think people are going to know the, what the dog sack well, is. They'll look it up. That's even better. All right. We'll stick with the we'll dog sack. We'll yeah, stick with the dog okay, sack. Okay. We'll stick cat with the dog sack. Cat wigs, honorable mention. Honorable mention. Um, and the twinkle tush. <laughs> <laughs> that's you one of my favorite inventions. That's a thing. That's a little jewel that goes over the cat's asshole so that, you can't yeah. see it. Uh, I think this one's a little bit more. This is probably a little bit more true um, for me. I was going to say Pepsi Clear is what I was going to say. But I'm going to go with platform shoes. Okay. Because I'm a short motherfucker. Okay. So, yeah, I, I got it. I'm going to listen right. to it. Don't worry about it. I'll You're get, fine. I'll get the right one. I'm going to spell this right for you, though. Okay, fine. That's fine. Uh, but anyways, uh, me, I have Merkins. <laughs> Derek, spell, teach me how to spell Merkins. Yeah, it's with a K. Okay, got it. Merkins. All right. Uh, my list, I've got spray-on hair, uh, hydrogen <sighs> blimp, asbestos, uh, comfort wipe and platform shoes. Derek has shake weight, nuclear weapons, Merkins, <laughs> the Chrysler PT Cruiser, and the detachable dog sack. <laughs> that's a, I think that's a good one. I think people are going to wonder, what do you mean dog sack? Yeah. What is this? They're going to look it up. I hope they're so. They're going to see yeah. it and they're going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah. That or I wasted my last pick. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Uh, JP has the Pontiac Aztec. Excellent pick, by the way. Crocs, another excellent pick. The Snuggie. I'm feeling good about fucking it. Fucking excellent pick. Kid Leashes, though. Great pick. That's awful pick. No, it's and a great pick. And the Dog Shock Collar. I think if you combine the Kid Leashes with the, the Shock the, Collar, yeah. then you it's a win. F- no, then that is, you need to have that combination yeah. in yeah. your home. Absolutely. That's the only way it's acceptable. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or... Twitter, which is at LOT Sidelines, and vote for who has the best list of the worst inventions of all time. And uh, whoever wins gets a pat on the back uh, for next week and gets the championship picks and all that shit. Doesn't I'd, really matter. I'd also thought about lead-based <clears throat> paint. Yeah, but I think uh, uh, I think that's good for some people. The Floby. The Floby's a good one. Yeah. My uh, my basketball coach in fucking high school, he had a Floby. He would give us all haircuts. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it's called, it's, but I I know I know that there's a uh, there's like a Japanese invention that people actually wore, and it's a it's for it's like a roll of toilet paper that goes on top of your head that if you needed a handkerchief, you can just pull it down and use it and then tear it off and throw it away. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And awful. my last honorable mention was social media. Yeah. yeah I that's almost, a good one. I almost did national news networks, but yeah. I was like, eh. 
But anyways, yeah, all go right, go one. go and vote. Uh, we'll pick the winner next week. Uh, appreciate all of you guys uh, following. And uh, if you know somebody who would be interested in voting for this particular draft, uh, you know, let them know about it. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation. I forgot what show it was. Yeah, that's uh, how easy to do. That's right. Uh, this week it is brought to you by. I tried to forget. I know, that's I okay. Can't. Tiffany Haddish forgot what state she was in. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, I thought it was sounded like that's y'all are some motherfuckers from Ohio. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Right. You just sound like somebody from. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. Yeah. Uh, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is brought to you by Battlecore and CarePackages dot com. Guys, their masquerade. Uh, I'm sorry, Gold Tie Masquerade is coming up here in uh, the end of August, August 26th. If you haven't already gone, if you could help them out in any way possible, go to Battle. CorncarePackages.com. Curtis and his family um, really want to get to their goal. I believe it's of twenty five thousand dollars by that night. I also want to get to my goal of fixing my alternator. You can donate to my <laughs> yeah. Venmo. Yeah. This one's a little <laughs> bit more important. Uh, great, great nonprofit organization. Curtis mm-hmm. and his family sincerely do appreciate all they do. Go to battlecorncarepackages.com. Thank you so much to them. Uh, but this week's laughing on the sidelines <laughs> shitty situation is: Would you rather? You have an old people. Is it old people? Yeah. Okay. Would you rather watch naked old people playing basketball? We're talking 70s and 80s here. Not, yeah, yeah, not, not my age. Right. <laughs> Your parents. No. Uh, old people in the 70s and 80s. Would you, would you rather watch them play basketball naked or what was the other one? Hot, Hot yoga. Hot yoga. Hot yoga. Naked. Naked. Naked basketball or naked hot yoga for people in their 80s? No pubes either. They're just fucking out there. Uh, great pubes. No, no pubes. You oh, see the whole thing. Shit. Yeah, everything's yeah. Clear, as, yeah. clear as day. Yeah. Shit. All the little age spots. And Every nook and cranny. Every nook and cranny. Mostly as, the crannies. As much as I'd hate to say it, I'm, I'm watching basketball. Me too. I'm going with basketball. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking there's some comedy involved in this particular situation. I mean... I'm comfortable enough with my sexuality. I think that would be the funnier of the two. I agree. Um, really don't want to see the downward dog position of eighty All years old. Sweaty because it's hot yoga, so they're fucking and you like got, in a steam room. Yeah, do it. And no. I could totally see a something about Mary situation with titties and basketball. Yeah, that's I mean, not good. I'm just saying yeah. it's it's at least funnier. I'm gonna go with basketball, and that's uh, final answer. Me too. Yeah. So this hot yoga. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Are you in the class, or are you just kind of watching from the window? No, you're there. I think your you're nose is partially yeah, up. That's got to be grandpa's asshole, right? You got so the are smell you like is part of it. Then are you like refing the basketball game, <laughs> or are you sitting in the stands? You're I think in you the gotta stands. Be like you're in the stands. I think you got to be front, front row. row. Yeah, I think you got to be front, front row. row. For what it's worth, I think this basketball game would get higher ratings than the WNBA. Oh, where? Well, I mean, <laughs> where front row are you? Are you under the basket? Yeah. 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 Hot yoga. <laughs> hot yoga <laughs> because there is no chance hot yoga i'm getting physical contact made but but someone could get shoved on me <laughs> after going for a rebound you make a good point and that they're just as sweaty <laughs> yeah you make a good point so i'm gonna go with the hot yoga i'm still basketball i'm still basketball at least there's gonna be like i mean just the smell alone from the hot yoga yeah, could you imagine no oh. no old people smell terrible as Already. it is and then heat them up heat, heat them, them up. up to about 120 yeah. and see what happens and it's not like in a basketball you know court there's at least you, you got some proximity to work with to kind of try to get out of the way plus at some point they're going to be down on the other end you hey, just hope that yeah, you, whichever least, team's on this end you hope they're better so that they spend most of their time uh, down yes. there. yes this, this is a strategic yeah, question yeah, yeah i I'm dig sta- it i'm staying away from any physical contact so i'm going to yoga derek's right. nose hairs have been scorched apparently because i, I like had it. covid i'm fine oh that's, <laughs> that's, true. <laughs> that's true okay smell anything yeah yeah okay fine shit ladies and gentlemen that was a great episode that i had a, i had good a time. lot of fun and i was here you were yeah. here yeah. absolutely I, was, I just showed up uh now derek what? and jp You've got, uh, I, I know the show is sold out. Sold out. It is the last. Sold out in seconds. It, it's kind of sad. It's the last show here in Wichita, Kansas at the Looney Bin here in Wichita. 
Um, I know there's a shitload of comedians that are going to be a part of it and uh, make appearances. And I think, what, five, ten minutes a piece or whatever? Five. Five, five minutes a piece. Yeah, ten minutes will be over on Friday. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, no shit with as many people that are going to be there. Um, but if you are a comedy fan uh, and you see any of the comedians, especially those that come up uh, that come on the show and stuff, JP, Derek, Jeremy. I know Jeremy will be there. Um, but a lot of other comedians, Megan Welsh, Jeremy Rush, uh, Aaron, uh, Eric Von Riker, um, uh, who else? Dan the Man uh, will be there. There's a bunch of guys that have been on the show, a lady that has been on the show. Uh, it's kind of a sad day for us here in Wichita. So any support that you can show those guys, tell them thank you, whatever. Uh, I'm sure there's other clubs here in town. They're going to probably welcome in comedians. There I are hope. no other comedy clubs. But They're not an actual comedy club, so... There um, will be. I think there I will. Hope. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's just going to end somebody up. Going, will get, yeah, somebody, some, will get somebody will get. Somebody will get. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, good luck to you guys. That is what night. Uh, that tomorrow is night. tomorrow night. Okay, Wednesday so, night, so, the twelfth, so the, the night that this sh- or the day that this show releases, mm-hmm. the comedy shows that night. So, yeah, yeah. thanks for listening to the whole episode. Now get your ass to the fucking comedy club. I'd post about it on Facebook, but I'm in jail. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, what'd you do? Uh, there, there was a guy on one of the. We have a, a page here called Wichita Food and Booze. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you got in jail for it, there, but I saw it. There was a guy <laughs> that had wanted to know if there were any black owned <laughs> restaurants that were open, which I fine. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, sure. yeah, I get it. You want to support that? Go ahead by all means. But some people got so mad <laughs> and they were like, well, what if there, why not ask if there's any white owned restaurants? How racist is this? And there's this big fucking commotion over it. And all I did was say, you guys are all just causing an uproar because this guy likes his food season. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw it before they took it down and put you in jail. I did see it. Made me laugh. <laughs> Definitely yeah. made me laugh. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, that's good shit. Um, I did, I, I did want to say at least the side story to this. I posted it on TikTok and it didn't go out too terribly far, but I didn't care. But I wanted to put it out because I thought it was fucking hilarious. So we had a we had a listener who sent us sent us uh, crayons that are skin color, which uh, they're over here. That's great. Uh, yeah, and Derek wasn't here on the episode, and uh, so it doesn't say it says colors of the world is what it says. Yeah, but, uh, they're obviously skin color. Yeah, uh, but I I texted Derek and I said you motherfucker. You guys basically, I, I put. I basically said you guys made everybody think I'm a racist. So a listener actually sent me a box of racist crayons, and uh, Derek quickly responded with, "I did not see that coming." Nazi N A Z I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was, I fucking died. So I absolutely think, hilarious. I think this thing's actually pretty cool. It is actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty funny too. Uh, but guys, thank you very much for supporting this show. We sincerely do appreciate it. If you like this show, do us a favor. Tell, you, tell your friends if you like us. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you walk in on your wife getting railed by a retarded Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... I nicknamed my dick the Larry Stone so you can kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.